Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Today's reading is Archie Giant Series Magazine presents Archie's Jokes, number 483. This book was 40 cents back in 1979. One of the stories in here is called Nut Nut. Now, don't forget, before we begin, this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Let's get to it. Don't smile so much, you big ham. But I'm not smiling, Archie. I'm not talking to you, Jug. I'm talking to the dog. It was out. It was in. Girl, stop arguing. I'll be your umpire, and you won't have to quarrel anymore. I think the last one was out. What? Er, I think it was in. I think I should have mind my own business. Because he got clobbered by the two girls. Betty, you are the salt of the earth. I'd rather be like sugar and spice. No, I mean it. You deserve the very best. That's sweet of you, Archie, really sweet. But I'll settle for you instead of the very best. Ha, ha, ha. Veronica, sisters signed this petition. It's time to give the sexes equal rights. Nonsense. Why should I have, why should I sign? Let the boys fight their own battles. Suitable suit. I like the way Ronnie teaches me diving. How does she teach you? Wearing a bikini. That's the best way. Hook snook. Arch, you're casting your rod too close to the bathers. No, I'm not. Gulp. I'm sorry, miss. I guess he was. Uh, the fink Reggie was riding around all day with my girl, Midge. I gave Moose some sugar to give to my horse. Moose, did you give my horse his lumps? Not yet. First, I have to give Reggie his lumps. Uh-oh. Dear Juggy, this is the first day camping. Wish you were here, and the bear attacks him, instead of me. Candid comment. My son Archie will be absent because of a badly sprained ankle. Too bad. He twisted it while he was jogging. Too bad. But he should be back in school next week. Ah, too bad. Little Jinx, and she's blowing the horn. Hey, do you like my playing, Greg? You know you should be on television, Little Jinx. Do you really think I'm that good, Greg? No, but at least I could turn you off. Ha, ha, ha. Girl world. Reg, look at the girl I just spotted. Cool it, Carrot Top. I spotted her first. Is that so? Yeah, that's so, and they fight each other. Hey, guys, look at the girl Dilton just spotted. <coughs> hmm. The ball is coming my way. What a drive. I got it. I held on to it. I saved the game. <clears throat> it was a bird, not the ball. <clears throat> okay, twist assist. Daddy had a special auto built that doesn't require gasoline. But it does need two chauffeurs to make it go. Two, how come? One to drive it and the other to wind it. I do it because I want to push it. <clears throat> it sure is nice, Mr. Lodge, to let us use his new pool facilities. Did you ever see anything like this? Never. Some people sure know how to live. They sure do. Let them enjoy themselves, Ronnie. Just keep them out of the main pool. That's all. You're in, there. in the other pool. Ha, ha, ha. It's a real nasty day out, sir. The rain is coming down in buckets. Do you still want me to mail this package for you? Of course not, Smithers. I wouldn't send a dog out in this weather like this. Let Archie go to the mail it. Date fate. How about us dating three nights a week? If we dated three times a week, we might as well be going steady. Wow, we, Archie, I agreed to go steady. I better be more careful how I word things. Archie, how many strikes making out? Are you putting me on? No. We never had this situation come up. <clears throat> Pop, my jalopy needs new tires. It would be like putting earrings on a monkey. Anyway, what's wrong with the old ones? The air is beginning to show through. 
<laughs> Veronica, I had the most fantastic dream last night. Yes? Was it about... What was it about? I dreamed that I proposed the most beautiful girl in the world. Really? And what was my answer? Ha, ha, ha. Kryptonite rocks, man. Stubborn Moose refuses to change his opinion about anything. He has such a closed mind. Duh, I do not. I have an open mind. Of course, Moose has an open mind. <clears throat> Does everything he hears in school go right through it? Thanks for sticking up for me, Reg. Duh, I think he was sticking up for me. I think he was thinking for me. The girls would really dig my giving them a ride in one of these. This model can be yours for only an unbelievable $19,900. Wow, can you picture me inviting the girls on a spin on this baby? That one is a steal, only $1,998. Welcome aboard, girls. That's all you can afford. Duh, my feet are sore from running. I'd better soak them in hot water. I have just the preparation for sore tootsies. They don't feel any better. I'd better put some more in. Hey, who took my plaster of Paris? He oh, those bath salts. Now control yourself, Moose. Call from James Bill, Call from James Bill, Everybody is complaining my jello is too hard. Oh, sugar, I suppose you're also going to say my jello is too hard. Oh, no, precious. But could I please have some a new spoon? All right, Archie's Press Club. Oh, yawn, yawn. Oh, that's boring. Archie, look. Wow. Oh, that's not boring. Guard the guard. Ouch, I twisted my ankle. Ow, can't even take a step. How's our new man coming along? Let's go check him out. Oh, no. She's carrying him? Loss, loss. Women's lib is right. The sexes should be equal. I guess I'm old-fashioned, but I don't agree. Where couples are concerned, I believe the boy should be boss. Hurry it up, boss. Golf gaff. In golf, everything happens to poor me. What happened? My ball would go, would have gone much further if it hadn't been hit Archie. Snack attack. Cora, I thought you watched your calories, but I do for about two seconds before I devour them. I've been trying to crack this coconut all day with a hammer, with a sledgehammer. I can't even put a scratch on it. I give up. Throws it at Moose. Arch, you just hit Moose on the noggin with that coconut. Duh, did somebody lose the coconut with a big crack in it? <laughs> Boat note. With terrible luck, first our lunch fell overboard. Then our motor conked out. Then one consolation, nothing worse can possibly happen to us. I'm not so sure about that, Arch. Here comes a tornado. Okay, well that was Archie's Jokes, number 483, 40 cents back in 1979. I hope you enjoyed that little reading. Now don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papas-Comic-Books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, read that, ring that bell, and leave me a comment, okay? And as Papa and Archie always say, that was easy. Until next time, Papa is out. Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page.